Spectrum analysis on the 6 Series B is much more capable than a typical scope FFT. It offers many of the benefits of a spectrum analyzer, but with some key advantages over those too. This board has a spread spectrum clock. With a center frequency of 98.5 MHz, so I'm going to punch that in, along with a span of 10 MHz, using the spectrum analyzer controls. Unlike typical scope FFT controls, the spectrum controls and the time domain controls are completely independent. Digital down converters are independent of time domain sampling. This lets you change the sampling rate and get better time resolution without affecting the spectrum at all. Unlike most spectrum analyzers, the 6 series lets you look at spectrums on more than one channel. This board has a second single frequency clock running at 40 MHz. I can even set different center frequencies. Let's look at the magnitude and the frequency of the spread spectrum clock as they vary over time. I can trigger on the frequency or magnitude of an RF signal. I'll set the scope to trigger when the magnitude of the spread spectrum clock transitions to more than one volt. Okay, now let's see what happens when I power cycle the board. The time domain and frequency domain information are synchronized. I can quickly scan through the startup sequence. I can see that there's oscillation on the spread spectrum clock right around the center frequency, but well before the modulation kicks in. The 40 MHz clock comes up around 6 milliseconds before the spread spectrum clock stabilizes. This multi-domain, multi-channel view is an extraordinary capability of this instrument.